I bought this $5,000 mystery box. Let's see what's inside of it. Right, let's see what we got. Uh, this is a great box, by the way. I don't think there's any of this stuff in here, though, but we'll see. Uh, we got this David Yerman necklace. I really like this. And it appears to be sterling in 18K, but there, maybe there's diamonds in here. We could test, actually. We could test and see. We have the technology. We have the tester. What other testing is done? 500 bucks. That sounds fair. This was all purchased as one group thing. That's how I purchased stuff from my store. A bunch of American silver eagles. Chickens. Chickens. Uh, they're sterling silver. They're marked silver. I don't know. They're probably about like six ounces total. So 150 bucks for the pair. Some silver dimes. I don't know. 40 bucks. Oh, look at how cool these are. Some specimens that are like sealed in acrylic or whatever. They don't have a price. I bet these are 25 bucks each though. I mean, that seems fair, right? For, for weirdo items. Evidence bag. This is the good. This is where we keep the good stuff. Oh, there's one more. We've got four rings. Let's see what they are. This one's 14K yellow gold, and it's got like uh, a lion with diamond eyes. We can test to make sure they're diamonds. Pass the vibe check. All right, so that's diamond eyes, 350 bucks maybe. I don't know what this redstone is. Maybe it's a garnet or whatever. I don't think it's a ruby. It could just be glass, we'll see. Ooh, ooh, it's not registering. Genuine glass, but it's still gold, so 100 bucks. This looks like it's bent, but I think that's the design. It's a little wedding band, diamonds. I don't know, 150 bucks. And this is a nice ring. Uh, this is stamped 18 karat, and it's like this really pretty diamond engagement ring. Let's see if it is, in fact, diamond. Uh, vibe check pass. Uh, I would say this is probably five to 800. Evidence is looking good. Oh, a watch. We love those. Mustic Cartier. These are vermil gold, which means it's silver with a gold wash over the top. It says quartz or quartz argent. That's silver in French. 925, that's the real hint. This is still a nice watch though. Uh, I think these are like a thousand bucks. Can't go wrong. Oh uh, yeah, this is, this is the, this is the item, right? We need to make sure this gets in a sale too. Look at this. That's all enamel and those are diamonds. 18 karat white gold. It's this beautiful falcon brooch. He's so cool. I'll show you that he's real. No cap. It's all real stones. Check them. You know what it is. Anyways, this thing has about $3,000 in gold in it, believe it or not. But we're gonna put this in an estimate of like five to 6,000. It's a beautiful piece. Oh, well, some spilled out. But uh, these are Cartier, sterling silver, uh, salt and pepper shakers. It's eight for so four people, salt and pepper. 300 bucks, 400 bucks maybe. Jala de Majala. This is a really long necklace. We call this opera length. Just kidding, it's two pieces. So it's like a 36 inch necklace. So each one is individually knotted. That's a good sign in a pearl necklace. And the clasp is 18 karat gold with little diamonds. This is an expensive one. And then you get uh, like a choker, a more classy pearl necklace. I don't know, 500 bucks. Comment and subscribe on this video. Definitely give me a follow if you're into antiques. See what's up. Because all of this stuff is in my store. This silver, this sterling silver Navajo turquoise belt buckle, or it seems to just be half of the buckle. I don't know where the rest is. That's a scrap metal thing. I don't know, 20 bucks tops, 10 bucks. Cross, sterling silver with a, I don't know, onyx on a rope necklace, 25 bucks. Not bad, crosses always sell. This is an intaglio cameo. It's carved through the outer layer to the inside. Pretty cool stuff. 20 bucks, maybe. Oh, we have a gold coin. Gold coin alert. This is a 20th of an ounce of gold, so gold's $2,000 now. Just at scrap value, it's like 100 bucks, but this is a Chinese panda, so they're probably more collectible. I figured this is 125 to 150. Bam. We got your silver purse, sterling silver. It's got all the hallmarks on the back. You see that lion? Is there a lion there? That's the passant lion. That means it's silver. That's good stuff. So it's European on both sides. This is a coin purse. So you could have your money and put your money in money. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can open it. Ta-da. Last item, silver spoon. You need it. This one's for grapefruit. Don't get grapefruited. Oh, wait, hold on. This is May's spoon. So if your name's May, comment on this video. 